is a cup moth caterpillar. What, for that matter, is a cup moth? Well, it's a very undistinguished looking moth, but it's interesting for all that. And it gets its name from its cocoon, because if you look here, you can see two cocoons. That's an old one, the white colored one. That's more recent, and in fact, more characteristic. You can see it's really shaped rather like an egg with the top taken cleanly off. And it looks like a cup, and that's the cocoon that gives the cup moth its name. That's what the moth comes out of. But before it goes into that, it's even more interesting still because the caterpillar is a most extraordinary looking character. Here it is, I've got one on a leaf here. In fact, I've got two, but this one's a beauty. You can see it looks rather like a ceremonial Chinese dragon. It's green and gold and black and has flanges poking out the side, and it is really the most exotic thing. But that's not all, it's got a trick or two to amaze you. If I was a bird looking for a meal, I'd come down and probably try and peck this thing off. And if I did, it would do this. See the yellow turrets? Shooting out spines for all they're worth, a bit like a sea anemone. In fact, those spines are rather like the spines of a stinging nettle. Each one is hollow and each one has poison in it. So that if you go poking one of these things, and you shouldn't do it because you could get badly stung, it shoots those spines up in defence and stings you. And that way it ensures that it's protected and it's left alone to browse on the gum tree leaf, which form its food. Well, you might expect if it's going to sit on a gum tree and be shaken around in the wind, it could be shaken off. Let alone the birds coming to peck it, it could just fall off. Not really, it's extremely sticky. It's got sticky feet. Let me show you that by bending the leaf and bringing my finger up underneath it. It'll probably shoot its spines, but you notice it sticks on my finger like glue. It's very strongly attached there and it crawls around with these little sticky feet and it doesn't fall off. And even flicking it wouldn't shake it. So it's well protected, the cup moth caterpillar. It sits on the leaf, it's glued there, it chews away. If anything attacks it, it shoots its spines, forms its cup-like cocoon, and eventually forms the cup moth. And you can see where it's been, because not only is the leaf well and truly chewed, like that, but every now and again, as it grows, it throws its skin off. And that is all that remains of the beauty of the cup moth caterpillar. <laughs>